I just amazed how different it is when you go even at a moderate speed with pulling with it. Like rolling some of these guys, you know, just putting some, some pressure and some force on it. Um, like I'm trying to remember everything. And it's like, oh well my footwork's off. Oh I'm positioned wrong. Oh I didn't yeah. I missed that and da, 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 da. And that's that's the training. They like gotta train more. Just, it's flight time. Yeah. It's flight time. And just being having that, that awareness of yourself of when you make a mistake, just take that mental note and then try to get it right the next round. Mm -hmm. right? That's why we keep flowing because it's demanding you to keep going. You have to figure it out. If you stop and restart all the time, you're not putting the demand on your body, right? your, your physical skill set. You have to keep it moving. Right? The only way to learn how to not get hit is to get hit. Get hit. Now you have to get hit. You have to know how my hand gets hit here, what happened, why did it happen, how did it happen, when did it happen, where did it happen, so now you can figure out I'm not letting it happen. Right? That's the only way. So even at a moderate space, uh, pace, it starts to seem kind of fast, right? So you know, well, you gotta look at the real attacks. Yeah, I notice when you're doing the, when you're drilling it nice and slow, you get methodical, you can get each piece, pop, 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 get the rhythm. You start applying real pressure and speed, and it gets violent. And you see why we say attack the attack? Yeah. There's nothing passive here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yep. So it, does this uh, two-person element do it advance with the other elements, other parts of the form? Like oh, yes. Later, can you go to thrust the slide? This is the first phase of the drill. Right. I would need probably all month to teach you all the night. Sweet. Month long ITC, boys. <laughs> Just on this grip. We didn't even get to there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because then you got you got to go through you know all the brokens, all the variations of those, thrust a slash. See, but then eventually the drill turns around. So when you have the knife and you're tapping me, right, this is what happens. This is how the drill ends up go to reverse grip. This is how the drill ends up looking at the very advanced level. Dang. <laughs> I don't even let you tap it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. right, and then I do this. <laughs> Dunk. That's the fourth form. Yeah. Okay. So what is that? I attack, you counter, I re-counter the counter. Three contratas, and you gotta Close not get that. Which is what? I gave you the answer yesterday, but it was real quick. Dang it! Train more. <laughs> That's the only answer I remember. Yeah. You need that on your shirt. Sorry, yeah. 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 Right, like Ben, Ben was asking me an answer, what if I get here? I'm like, don't go there. <laughs> Ifs are opinions. The knife doesn't care about opinions because then, right, what were, what were we talking about? You were saying, if I get, if I end up yeah, in this inside thing here. like this and I do yeah. whatever it is, right, but you're not setting yourself up for success. All right, so don't make that mistake. You got to continue to do it the right way so that way, uh -oh, where are you? Where are you? You gotta go quick. Come on, man. It's gotta be quick. Yeah, you gotta go into the other tap. That's why you learn knife versus knife tapping first, and then you learn empty hand versus knife tapping. You gotta, you know, you gotta go through the system. This is the worst to have to deal with in cold war. This, mm -hmm. hey, this is the worst right here. Right? When we did our combat knife course a few years ago. Right, most statistically, most knife attacks happen zero to eight feet. That is a one parking space width. So when we were testing everybody's knife draws, we had all kinds of knives. We had these knives, like all folding <coughs> knives. We had the wave feature, we had the spring assisted, everybody had stuff. The average knife, no matter what, on the folder was 2.7 seconds. Guess how many times the wave feature failed? They missed it. How many times did Steve miss it? At least four times. The average person. Then we sprinted. We took everybody and <coughs> sprinted them eight feet. And the average time was 1.7 seconds. An entire second faster than the 
You better have football. Right? You better know where to go. If you don't, you better have some damn good talent. <laughs> Which is already really hard even in the drill format, right? That's why yes, or on uh, Wednesday I was saying that knife tapping, this isn't knife fighting. This is not where you want to be. This is because you lost awareness, attention to detail, what's going on in your environment, and you made a tactical error. Right? That's why. But we need the tapping because we're human. We thrive to be 100% on, but unfortunately, there's a thing called multiple opponents. Right? You can really only fight one person at a time. And sometimes when we're flowing around, right, you're gonna see the knife taps come out. Like we might be flowing, whatever, and I'll come out to get the attack. He might be trying to bridge, I attack at the same time. And that's when you end up seeing, you know, all of these knife taps. It's gonna be really quick. That's all he's gonna get. He's not gonna go through the whole drill. But right away, see, how do I counter that? Boom. Right? So the knife tap, you might only get one quick little tap. But it's teaching you all about position. So in reality, right, he attacks, whatever, I might, I might only get this. You're not going to go through the whole drill. Maybe I can get this. Bam. Get out with the running attack. Maybe he attacks and I can only get this direct. Okay. I had him just protect myself. If I hit the eye, that all magnet is going to neutralize the weapon. it's just so fast. This thing is so fast. It's the fastest thing in close quarters. That's why this tapping stuff's critical. That's why we start with it in the beginning, because fighting on contact is the hardest. And it's all we're doing is fighting contact. One to one, two to two, three to three, right? We're just fighting on contact. Developing action. Later on, as we're, as we're doing this stuff, See, now we got the position. So I can come out, one, boom, take the thrust right away. Yeah, but I gotta know to go left 45. If I cut this angle, see, I'm yeah, right yeah, in yeah. line with the follow. Eat it. I gotta clear his follow through. Boom, see, and I can still take his eyes. If I'm empty handed, bam! Right through that slap. Okay. So now you're just going through the system. But if you don't know the geometry and how to apply the geometry, you're going to be caught. And of course, at any time, if I have to, I can range this out, right? Now I'm back to the circle. And then we're just, we're just back to the fight. That's it. That's it. See how the whole thing just comes together? So at some point, it really doesn't matter where you are, everything flows. It all becomes one big flow drill that we call technical free flow. And then you put the gear on or not, and you just go with contact. It's the same thing.